my name's Paul Miles and I'm here today sitting down for a chat with the lovely ladies from Boys of Chiprot. Is that how it's? Boys of Chiprot. Bud Chiprot. Yeah, yeah that's Fantastic. Right. The young powerhouse Indonesian all-female rock trio who formed in West Java a decade ago now. Hi, I'm Siti. I play drum for VOB. Hello, my name is Marsha. I play guitar and sing. Hi, I'm Vidi. I play bass. Fantastic. So I understand that your name, Bachiprop, means noisy in your local language. Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of that was chosen to represent your musical style. But whilst your sound to me is is loudly full, it's a it's a big sound. It's not noisy in terms of messy. <laughs> There's a lot of melody in there. Yeah. Um, how would you describe? the kind of musical style of uh, the songs you create? Um, you know, we always got confused when people say what genre <laughs> we played yeah. because it's we mix all of them. I hear that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we just called it like um, a freedom sound. Freedom sound, yeah, I like freedom that. freedom sound. I so, like that. Because we feel free when we when we play it. Yeah. Because many people many people say that metal is uh, you have you should play it like this mm -hmm. or sh like that, but we never do that. <laughs> so does that mean you're rebels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see you bit. all looking at each other. <laughs> well, I think the story goes back further, right? Because you all met at school, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We met at school. And then you started music and formed a band because um, there was a bit of a rebellious nature and there were some things <laughs> happening that got you in trouble with your teachers, is that right? <laughs> Marcia. No, it's ah. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's. We got a little uh, trouble with the teacher. <laughs> what <laughs> so kinds of things were you doing, if I'm allowed to ask? <laughs> so we we have different cases. Okay. Yeah. So City always like knock on the table. Hit the table. Yeah, in the class, okay. so it's yeah. noisy and party in the party. <laughs> 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 party in the class. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. the teachers hate her, and uh, me. I got a trouble with the teacher because. Um, I criticize the the system at school because yeah. the teachers always late come in school. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, our teachers Abaersa uh, taught us to join the theater community. Yeah. That's where we know each other. It all came together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's great because I mean, as teenagers, you do start to question authority and the system and. And you look at those things as you develop your own views and that. Yeah. And now I hear that, you know, what comes out in your music is you've got views on the world and the way that things should be and, and stuff like that. Um, and I watched the video of you meeting Tom Morello for the first time on, <laughs> on video. You were all so excited. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I see that, you know, Rage Against the Machine has obviously uh, been a big impact on you and you covered... Uh, one of their songs in the early days, right? Do you consider yourselves a political band, kind of similar to Rage Against the Machine? Have you, have you got kind of something to say um, with the songs that you create? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> political band, uh, I don't know. We don't think so. But yep. yeah, just basically we just uh, care about what's happening around us. That's why mm. we, l we uh, talk about Humanity issues, gender equality issues, and also the social issues. Yeah. Because uh, we we feel the impact, we feel the impact. So, and also our parents, our parents yeah. uh, feel that the impact from the politica and everything. So yeah. we just try to um, say what our what our society can't say. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <Something like that. laughs> no, I like that. And, you know, the name of your band with voice in it, it's like it's important to have a voice and be able to express yourselves and, and you're yeah. doing that. Um, obviously, I, I see that, you know, the heavy style of music that you play is often in contrast to the, to the religious side of things. And, you know, you, you're sitting here with the hijabs on <laughs> as well, right? Um, so do you find that there's that kind of balance that you need to 
have between kind of in some ways being conservative enough to be of faith mm. um, but also pushing the boundary and being different and stepping outside of that. Tell me a bit about how that kind of sits with you. Um, it's uh, giving us a hard time actually but mm. we realized that finally we realized that music and religion it's two different things so we use yeah. music just for medium to express ourselves and yeah. we see hijab just uh, just as a normal clothes because yeah. we wear it since we were a child um, and now we also realize that wherever we go we will always find um, some annoying people like that yeah. <laughs> so we just to uh, just enjoy our lives and yeah. continue to make music you're never going to please everyone in this world that's for sure that's so it's true. important to be true to yourself yeah. and, and be happy with who you are and what you're doing and that so so yeah. that's great <laughs> um, and I love how you styled your hijabs in the video uh, for God allow me to Please play. Oh yeah, well. yeah. That was really cool, and it got me thinking <laughs> <Thank you>. that <laughs> I would like to see more of that. And I'm wondering, is that something that you think you might kind of push even more to kind of stylize and do different kind of, you know, stylistic things mm -hmm. um, in the future? Uh, so we come with that idea because many people say that hijab is a s stiff. Thing. Mm. So we can't do anything with that, just just like that. But we we want to change that. Yeah. Uh, so we want to that become a symbol that um, as a powerful thing. Yeah. Not something that restrict us. Yeah, so. I love that. I love that. <laughs> yeah. That really caught my attention. Um, and how do you feel about that video now being viewed more than five million times? That's a lot of people that have had eyeballs on, yeah. <laughs> on it and listened to that song. How, how does that yeah. make you feel? Uh, of course, we are so happy and proud. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes we also feel that, wow, we're scared <laughs> because yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people watch we're that famous. videos. And <laughs> 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 yeah, you feel but, a bit yeah. of weight from that, a, a weight yeah. of expectation. Yeah, it's... It's more than our expectations. Yeah, that's fantastic. And now, of course, you're getting to visit other countries. You know, you've toured parts of Europe and you've done a tour of the US and now here you are down under in Australia for the first time. Um, I appreciate the touring is actually hard work. There's a lot yeah. that goes into it. But, you know, do you try and... Um, experience some of the local things when you do tour like you know some of the local food or a little bit of sightseeing or some shopping or coffee or <laughs> do you like to do some of those things when you when you're traveling so when we're traveling the hard the most hard part is we're not it's it's not easy to to um, adapt with mm -hmm. food food and okay. food the toilet Food and the toilet. toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's food because and the toilet. Not, not be, no. Be there. Yeah, not, not water, oh, not water. Yeah, yeah. For right, the toilet. Right. So yeah. we bring our you own water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah. but we all, we always uh, like take times uh, to uh, try in the city or the place we visited. Like yeah. uh, tomorrow in Sydney, we also got two days off. So we can stroll around the city and we awesome. we bought some kangaroos dolls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every, everything about the kangaroos for the souvenir <laughs> because yeah. our parents were like, where's the kangaroos? Where's the kangaroos? Why you didn't uh, send us the photos of the kangaroos? <laughs> <laughs> I should have bought my pet one with me. Oh, really? <laughs> no, not really. Not really. <laughs> Everybody jokes they have pet kangaroos, but no. So look, congratulations on your debut album, um, Retas, Retas? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, which was released um, a bit over a year ago now, right? Um, how do you feel about the way that it's being received and the feedback you've got from, from fans and, and the music press um, yeah. on the album? So far we got amazing, amazing reaction from uh, the, audience. the audience around the world yeah. like uh, uh, we got a lot of message and also uh, many reactors on the YouTube 
make a video yeah. reaction of that of our music on that album. So like, it was really amazing. Yeah, <laughs> we awesome. love to we love to watch their video. <laughs> and are you always working on new songs as they kind of just crop up and, and come out of you? You've always got kind of new songs on the go that you're developing and do you have many that you know you're starting to think about the next album now and, and get that ready? Yeah, even in the middle of tour, we also uh, still making our lyrics and everything. Yeah. So when we are done with this tour, we can uh, maybe a bit focus on next recording next. for a new album on the early 2025. Yeah, great. And should fans expect more of the same sorts of uh, mix of styles on the new music to come, or um, will it be more different and evolved, perhaps, do you think? Maybe it will be very different with the first album because yeah. we are independent now uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and uh, also we want to try a lot of things so now we still choose the yeah. the pattern and everything. <laughs> yeah, great. I look forward to hearing it when, uh, when you get around to it as well. So look, just to, to wrap up, what, what do you think has been the most kind of interesting thing about your trip to Australia? So far, what uh, what have you enjoyed the most today? The most interesting. <laughs> what? Anything come to mind? Uh, we love Australia. The first thing because the weather. It's it's like the city, mm -hmm. but it's it's so clean, so clean and fresh. No yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Because uh, we feel this kind of this kind of weather in Garut, but Garut is not a big city like this. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like combination. And jadi sedikit nih orangnya tuh. And yeah, no, <laughs> not not so many people. How many people live in Garut? Um, Roughly. It's so many people now. Yeah. No, because yeah. Like a million people or something like that. Uh, or? not a million, but okay. now the government like had a plan to make Garut to be um, tourist for Tourism. tourists. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Something yeah. Like that. To yes. attract more people to yeah. come visit. Instagramable, and yeah, it bring a lot of trash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trash right. and stress. <laughs> That's the downside of it, right? Yeah. You get the income, but you've got the downside. But that's life, the yin yang, right? Yeah. So, well, look, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, to talk with us today. Our pleasure. Wish you all the best yeah. for the remainder of your shows and uh, the rest of your career ahead. I'll be watching along eagerly, <laughs> cheering you on from the sidelines. Yeah. So, thank you very much. Our thank pleasure. You. Thank you.